Hi hello and welcome, welcome back to another Uncred video with me and my buddy Chair right here. Reposting scientific articles makes you feel smarter. Important nuanciation there. It makes you feel smarter, but not actually smarter. Sharing contents online, even when you don't even read what you shared yourself, makes people feel more knowledgeable about the subject. That's the main premise of a little article I stumbled upon on psypost.org. Article written by Vladimir Hedri, probably butchered that name, but either way it was quite an interesting read and a short one at that. The article is basically a summary of a bunch of scientific studies conducted by Adrian F. Ward and two colleagues. And they looked at whether people found themselves to be more knowledgeable, so they had increased feelings of subjective knowledge after sharing things online that they didn't actually read themselves. We are a social species, of course. Guillaume van der Stichelen is a famous Belgian personality who is most famous for his work in the commercial industry. So he makes commercials for all kinds of products. And on one of the podcasts he was on lately, Het Inzicht, podcast by Joël de Keuler, he talked about humans being colony animals. We're not herd animals and we're also not predators, but we are colony animals. We kind of live on our own a little bit individualistic, but we need that social side as well. We are a combination. And yeah, we are a social species. Connectedness is important. Scientific research also shows this. Connectedness can be a buffer against all types of psychopathology and it's just a very important factor in our lives and our society in general. Also when it comes to knowledge and the sharing of knowledge. There is nobody alive who knows everything. Just watch one episode of University Challenge presented by Jeremy Paxman online on YouTube and you will realize how much you don't know. But having the knowledge of who knows what around you is essential, is vital for your survival. Just to give a quick example that immediately comes to mind, when I see something broken in my house, I know, all right, I can go ask my dad for help. Me personally, I have two left hands and I wouldn't be able to fix anything, but I know that he knows how to do that. We share our knowledge with each other. It happens from parents to children, from teachers to students. It happens all around us. It's ubiquitous sharing knowledge. And it's exactly what I'm also doing right now in this YouTube video. Although right now I may be just sharing someone else's knowledge to make a quick buck from it. I, I don't. But if I would, low effort income. A bunch of knowledge has always been shared. Everybody agrees probably that books are a vital part of our civilization and they are all about sharing knowledge, of course. But now, in the age of social media, it has increased drastically. And it has also made this new development possible of people sharing knowledge without actually knowing what they're sharing. I think every one of us has read an article title thought it was interesting and talked about it with someone else or reposted it online even though you didn't even read the article yourself. But doing that, sharing something without reading its contents, that, that's not gonna make you smarter on the subject, right? Well, apparently some people believe it does. We all have those friends that are like frequent reposters on their Twitter or Facebook feed and they think they become these all-knowing entities of vast knowledge just about the subjects they share articles upon. When in reality, if they did not actually read what they are sharing, this is of course a false belief. Although I say of course, but it's only of course and obvious for somebody that is looking in from the outside. The person who shares that article about the 15 different species of sea cucumbers thinks all of a sudden he knows all about those slimy little buggers. And he thinks he knows all about those slimy little buggers because when we would put in an objective measure of his knowledge on the subject and we would actually give him some multiple choice questions, he would probably perform quite bad. The effects found in these studies by Adrian F. Ward and his colleagues were even stronger when the sharing happened voluntarily. So when you didn't get ordered to repost something from your workspace or something, for example, no, you wanted to share something yourself. And I guess that is not the case for this video right here because well, of course, you guys are obliging me to post videos or if I don't put in the work, you will unsubscribe and leave me to die a, a painful, lonely death. The effects were also stronger when the information they were sharing was related to them personally, when they had like a personal interest in the subject. That's of course also not true for these videos because, well, I let AI write all of my scripts. I don't have any personal input at all. I'm not funny or informative or talented or good looking or handsome, or fun to be around. 
or a contributing member to society. And then finally, it was also stronger, this effect of believing you are more knowledgeable about the subject when you just share an article without reading it. It was also stronger when sharing it with people you are closely related to. And again, for this video, not the case because I hate all of you guys and we are not friends. So I'm safe. Take, take that with a gra grain of salt, of course. I, I, love, I love you guys. <laughs> and also, I do read my material before writing a script on something and trying to make a video about it because otherwise, how like how would i just show you guys the article title and be standing there like this was a cool article read it yourself i am allowed to boast about the vast heaps of mastery and comprehension that reside safely up here in the top of my dome and i shared some of that with you today sharing things online without reading them yourself makes you feel smarter about them but you're not objectively more knowledgeable about them thanks a lot for watching bye bye